review our trade for today. And the first one has some quirkiness going on with it. We sold the EQR March 17th, $62.5 cash secure put option. And it looks like after hours, maybe a trade has come through that's pushed the stock down. So we'll have to see what happens in the morning if that really was a legitimate trade or just some fluke on our charts. I didn't see any news that came through unless it's something I missed. But anyways, we did the trade earlier in the day and you see here we sold the $62.5 cash secure put option where this line is here. EQR has been in a nice uptrend over the past couple months. It reached a high kind of close to the 200 moving average on this daily chart and then retraced and appeared to be finding support around this green 50 exponential moving average. And it may still do that. Not sure. We'll have to see what happened with this trade because throughout the day it was trading just the minute chart. Throughout the day it was pretty consistently above 64. Then after hours, looks like either either announcement came out or some news came out that I'm not seeing. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But felt comfortable because it was coming down to this moving average. This $62.5 area is also the area right in here back in middle January that served as resistance for it and took about a week, week and a half to break through there. And now it looked like it'd be serving as support for if it came down that low. Uh, looking over the weekly chart, we see there's been nice buying pressure over the past month and a half, two months. It did go up and came close to this green 50 exponential moving average. That appeared to serve as resistance for it as it kind of has bounced off that a little bit. So we'll have to see what happens with it on the 60 minute hourly chart. We did a nice uptrend for quite a while since, since um, January 9th or so even the day before that, the 5th. And it's staying above this 200 moving average on the hourly chart. So everything looked good. And we'll just have to see what, what went on here with this trade or if there really was some legitimate news that came out. So the next one is our cash secure put option in T-Row. So we'll pull that one up. So T-Row has been stuck kind of in a little wedge here. I know there's a lot of lines here, so I kind of talk you through it. This is, this is our line touching our recent lows. You see that it's highs. It's finding resistance right around this 132 and a half to 134 dollar area. And it's now kind of, it's trading around these moving averages. It appears that just above the red 200 moving average is serving as resistance. A little easier to see if we go over here to the weekly chart. We see that this 200 moving average on this weekly chart appears to be the, the true resistance. So it's been finding support along this upward sloping trend line. And the question is, will it do it again? If it does decline from here, because the volume has been pretty strong, today was a little bit lower volume, and we see that nice, nice leg on the bottom where sellers pushed it down, but then buyers came back in and pushed it back up, but it did make a lower low and a lower high with today's candlesticks. So it does look somewhat still bearish, and I'm okay with that. I wanted to enter this trade if it got filled. I let it sit out there for a few hours, and it ended up getting filled. The reason is that we're below not only this area here, right around the the 111 area, it now is broke below that. It looks like today it broke below it. But now we have another area of support just below that at around the 107 area. So I have to push through both those areas, which today looks like it may have pushed through this area here, that sort of support. But now I have to push through this other area that served as nice support for it for several weeks before it gets to our 105 strike price. So can it happen? Well, of course it can definitely happen. But will it happen? Well, I think the odds are in favor that, that we'll be okay here. And if it does come down, we'll be trading it right about the bottom of where it's traded over the past several years. So I'd feel comfortable with that. All right, the next one's Home Depot. Big down day yesterday. So I was looking for an opportunity to go into Home Depot. And today it just kind of traded sideways. Sellers and buyers were pretty even. Nice looking doji there. Yesterday was very high volume when it had the big drop from around 318 and it closed the day at 295 so nice big drop and always looking for an opportunity to trade options in Home Depot. It is now below the 250 exponential moving average on this daily chart so that is bearish. However on the weekly chart we see that it's getting close to and you see our the thick white bar here that's our 205 strike or 285 strike price. So I have to come all the way down to right at this red 200 moving average on the weekly chart before our put options is challenged. Now, can it happen? It can happen for sure. But let's see what's going on here with support and resistance. So here we see that it's right at an area that served as resistance for it and it was broken through, served as resistance again, and then it gapped up to break through that resistance. So now it's come back down to that same area. And that area is right there around 293 or so. 
in spite of that, we're still we're still another it's like eight dollars below that. So even if it does continue to decline, we still have eight more dollars before our strike price is challenged. So overall, I like this position. I like Home Depot. The buyers have shown some strength over the past several months. It it had broken out above the green fifty exponential moving average. But this is one reason why you just you try and avoid earnings. I mean, anything can happen with earnings. And so we see that although they've been finding support for several months at that 50 moving average on this weekly chart, after earnings it just gapped down. So we'll see how this trade turns out. I like the trade. I got like we have room to be wrong. I like the return we were given. And now we'll see how the next month plays out. Our last one is UPS. UPS is one that we let a covered call be called away from us on Friday. And so I was looking to enter that same strike price, which was 175 or better. And we actually got better today. Again, another stock that had another pretty good, decent down day, gap down yesterday. Remember gaps fill, I believe the percentage is 93% of the time, gaps on companies like UPS fill, just a matter of how long it will take. We see a gap here, took it about a week to fill. Let's see if I don't see any other gaps in here. But gaps fill a high percentage of the time in stable companies like UPS. And again, we see nice support right here around 172. So if UPS does continue to decline, which it wouldn't surprise me at all if it does continue to decline. I expect it to find support at least temporarily around this 172 area. And our our option strike price is even two more dollars below that where this nice thick white line is. We see this area, it also served as resistance for it back here in October and November. So a nice clearly defined area of support between this 172 and 170 area. So I like our placement here on our strike price. We got a nice return over 20% annualized, non-leveraged. I like that. And if we even need more support, well, now we're over here on the weekly chart. And if UPS does continue to come down, well, we have our 200 moving average, which is about 166. That'd be about three to four dollars in the money if we got that low. But notice that UPS did make a higher low here and it just barely made a higher high, not much. It's legally it is a higher high, so or technically it's a higher high, so we'll say it is. So we'll just see how this plays out. So those are our four trades. It's been a, a volatile week, which is great for us option sellers, and we'll look for more opportunities in the in the next couple of days.